Good morning, everyone. As you can see, uh, our setting is a little different than normal. Uh, most of you probably know our family is in quarantine right now, but we are all currently healthy. But so, um, obviously, we're filming this from our house right now. And this is our Christmas tree. You can see it's very lovely. We don't actually have a tree topper, so uh, that hat works just well. But so, I was thinking about Christmas and Advent coming up, and I know we have the very end of the Lord's Prayer to do. Uh, but we're just pausing that for a week or two, and we'll just talk about some Christmas things for right now because it's important. Jesus came uh, to earth as a human child. He humbled himself to become a human child and that he would grow up and one day be the Savior of the world. Now, we have some very special decorations at our house or some very special things, and one of the things that I have here that we'll talk about on our tree, it's a devotion book that one of our family friends gave us the year that Hannah was born. It talks about the different names of Jesus. So Jesus, the savior of the world, that was going to be his name. And it talks about the Messiah, the anointed one, the one that the world was expecting to come and save them, the chosen one. Emmanuel, which in Luke chapter 2, that's the name that the angel gives Mary. Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Um, and that, oh, in uh, Matthew chapter 1, that God would be with us. That Jesus is the light on of the world. Um, that the people who are walking in darkness will see a great light. So those of us who are uh, walking in sin or don't know who God is, we'll see the light, and the light is Jesus. We'll see the error of our ways. He is the Prince of Peace. Jesus says, I am the Good Shepherd. He cares for our sheep. One of my kids' favorite songs is, I am Jesus' little lamb. But uh, Jesus takes care of us just like a shepherd cares for his sheep. And he is the Savior. Jesus is going to be born in Bethlehem, in a little stable, and he is going to come and save the world. He's going to, of course, have to grow up, and then he's going to show everybody how he is God. He's going to share his word and also do many signs or miracles. Miracles are special things that God can do that humans can't do because they're not powerful enough. And even Jesus being born into this world is a miracle. But so through his words and through what he does, he's going to show that he will be the savior of the world. And one day he'll die on the cross to take away all of our sins. And he'll also rise again because a lot of people died and a lot of very good and godly people died, but they weren't raised from the dead. They didn't atone or take away the sins of the whole world. So, as you can see, there's little cutouts in this book. So, um, we've got our ornaments on the tree. Hannah uh, put them all in one spot for the most part. Here's Emmanuel, and um, here's Savior, the one that was at the very end. And, um, let's see, and this is one from last year's Christmas party that says, Jesus is the light of the world. And I don't know where our light of the world one is. I think it's on the other side of the tree. But something else that's really cool is sometimes our ornaments or other decorations help point to God, which I showed you some of our, oh, here's the light of the world one. Some of our uh, ornaments here obviously show the names of Jesus. We have other ones on our tree, which are, crosses with uh, Mary and Joseph and Jesus on them. That's a very good way to help us remember what Christmas is all about. And we've got a couple cross ornaments. There's another one. There's another one down here, very glittery. This used to be our tree topper until we got the um, hat up there. And once again, another one today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. So it's reminding us that Jesus 
is the reason for Christmas. Christ Mas, Christ coming in the flesh. And that this little baby would one day come and take away the sins of the entire world. He was going to restore the relationship between God and man because only God could live a perfect life that he demanded. So he had to come down himself to live that perfect life and then once again to die for our sins. And we have another, we have an angel here. Angels are special um, messengers or servants of God. They do lots of different things in the Bible. We first see them in the Garden of Eden when they are guarding the entrance so Adam and Eve can't get back in. Um, and then we also see them as messengers throughout the Bible. And a lot of people are afraid of angels because um, they're not always so uh, cute and beautiful as uh, we depict them to be. Some of them can be rather uh, different looking um, if we read through some of the books about the prophets. But the angel showed up to the shepherds when Jesus was born to announce his birth. So that was their special job was to announce that the Savior was in the world. And, oh, oh here's another angel as well. But so that reminds me of this special uh, Christmas decoration that my family has. We have the angel here that was announcing Jesus' birth to the shepherds who would go to see Jesus in Bethlehem. And here's the stable where he was born, the star. And then, of course, uh, Mary and Joseph and Jesus. And then the wise men on their way to Bethlehem, or maybe this is um, Jerusalem, because the wise men who saw the star and eventually traveled all the way to um, Jerusalem, they got there and they were asking, well, where's this king? The one who was born king of the Jews and Herod was the king of the Jews at the time. And he was a little intimidated by that. And he didn't like there being another king. So he said, you go find the child and then come back and tell me about it. And then I'll go worship him. And so the um, wise men left where the current king was and went to Bethlehem where Jesus and his family still were. And um, the word that is used in the Bible explains more like a toddler Jesus, not an infant Jesus, but they went and they gave their gifts. That's what we talk about in Epiphany. Um, but so they give their gifts and then they're warned by God in a dream not to go back to Herod because Herod just wants to kill baby Jesus. He was not a very good person at all. He really wasn't. So they went back home a different way. Um, but so God helped keep baby Jesus safe. And it also showed us that Gentiles or people who weren't Jewish were going to benefit from the Savior of the world. Because Jesus didn't just come for the Jews, but he came for all people of all times and all places and of all cultures and everything. Jesus came for all of them. And let's see, this is another decoration my family puts up at Christmas. Um, this is just the box, obviously. I didn't want to go and uh, take them down from their place above our fireplace. But once again, we remember that baby Jesus was the one born at Christmas and why we all celebrate. And... Let's see. Next week, we'll probably talk about the Christmas that are in church. Those are the special ornaments that all definitely point to Christ. Um, I'm not going to say that our Minnie and Mickey ornament or um, our penguin ornament or, um, you know, our scarf or something directly points to Jesus. Our tree isn't completely a Jesus tree like that. But our tree in church has lots of very pretty and very special decorations, uh, ornaments or chrismums um, that are different symbols that show about Christ and what he did. So we'll probably talk about those next week. But as for our prayers, you can see over there we have um, Hannah and Rachel. We would like to pray that all of us stay in good health, um, that um, my best friend, that her baby... Um, we were hoping would uh, be in this world by now, um, at least that we could see him by now um, through anything besides ultrasounds, but um, he's still waiting to make his appearance. 
um, and that great grandpa would feel better. He uh, kind of fell and uh, hurt his hip. Um, Luke and April would like to pray that their grandma keeps getting better. Selah would like to pray for uh, teething and walking. And Annabelle and Annalise would like to pray that everyone continues to say, stay safe. And Ian and Elsie would like to pray for their baby brother, who um, we would like to see soon, but not too soon. He can still uh, grow a little bit. And also for a finger that got uh, hurt. So let's go ahead and fold our hands and say, Dear Jesus, thank you for all of your wonderful gifts and blessings. Thank you for coming down at Christmas. Thank you for humbling yourself to become a human baby and also growing and one day dying on the cross to take away all of our sins. Um, please help everyone who is sick to feel better, whether they've had um, COVID or um, any other sickness like Pastor, please help him to continue to get better. Please help uh, our family to stay healthy and every family to stay healthy. Please help Luke and April's grandma to get better, um, our great grandpa to get better. Um, and please help everyone just to stay safe. Please help everyone who is uh, teething, learning to walk, or just learning new things. Um, that can be really hard, so help us to be able to navigate those things. Um, please help all fingers to get better as well. Please help all babies to continue to grow and be healthy um, so we can see them and enjoy them and that they can grow in faith and love towards you as well. Um, thank you once again for all of the gifts that you've given us, especially the gift of your son, Jesus, and your holy son, Jesus' name. Amen.